The Ember 3D printer is open hardware. You can download the CAD files for free. Today, we'll take apart the build arm on the printer and examine how it was engineered. The build arm is attached to the vertical drive of the Ember. Unscrew these four bolts to remove it. This T-shaped piece interfaces with a slot on the build head. It snaps into place. Magnets inside the housing of the build head correspond to magnets in the T-shaped part on the build arm. On the top of the build head housing, there are three spheres that protrude from the surface. They interface with these three sets of metal pins embedded in the build arm. Together, they form a kinematic coupling. This coupling ensures that the build head seats on the build arm with very little wiggle. This is useful for accurate and repeatable positioning of prints. Notice that the joint in the build arm can move freely. It can rotate in one dimension and rotate in another and can also slide up and down. This freedom allows the build head to mate with the window and the resin tray when printing. Tightening the calibration bolt clamps the joint and keeps it from moving. If we unscrew these three bolts, we can see how the joint works. The ball joint has a split, and there is a cylinder inside the ball joint. When the calibration bolt is tightened, it clamps down on the ball joint, and the ball joint clamps down on the cylinder. Unscrew the bolt at the top of the lever, and you can remove the handle and slide the ball joint off. Remove the plastic spacers and slide out the inner cylinder. It's surrounded by a plastic sleeve to reduce friction. We can now easily see the three magnets in the T-shaped piece, which match the three magnets on the build head. Lastly, we can unbolt this plate from the main arm piece. We can see that there is a large pocket machined into this hole. The hole reduces the weight of this piece, which in turn reduces the torque on the vertical drive of the printer. This through-hole is the slot that holds a 4mm hex key used to tighten the calibration bolt. And that's how the build arm works. It's relatively simple, but has some clever engineering.